Hello Silver Stackers and Collectors, Silverstruck here. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time checking out the Silverstruck channel, welcome. And thank you for dropping by. If you've been here before, welcome back. So I just got back from my LCS. I'm really excited about some of the uh, silver in this bag here. Um, there's a lot of talk about uh, silver being manipulated in the market. And uh, of course it, uh, it drove me to make some extra purchases as I'm sure a lot of you guys are, are thinking about that too. So, uh, let's see what we got. Let's see, we'll pull one out at a time. Aha! Only one of these. And they only had one left. Eighty-five Prospector. So, last chance to pick up any more prospectors for me uh, these are increasingly difficult to find gotta have my prospectors put this bag over here and then aha these I'm not gonna bother wearing my gloves uh, for these these were on sale my LCS at $1.75 over spot um, so I, I had to pick these up and these are, I don't have any of these. Uh, these are three quarter ounce. And they're all scratched. So it's just stacking silver, cheap premiums. There we go. So three quarter ounce, four nines pure. I think they're all 2016 wolves. Pretty, pretty certain. Gotta love the Canadian stuff though with four nines silver. It's funny how uh, the Canadian uh, coins typically flip uh, this way, where U.S. Uh, you flip them that way, but that's okay. Differences. All right. So with this silver, what did we get even? I believe I picked up, yeah, 12 ounces. 12 ounces of silver. Cheap over spot. I couldn't resist picking some up. I probably should pick more up, but they had some other items uh, that read up my budget a little bit. Let's see what else we have? I'm gonna leave those. You know what? No, we'll, we'll look at these. All right. So these are really hard to get. I did find one on eBay, and. I was able to snag two. Uh, part of the problem trying to buy Inglehards for my LCS is that he collects Inglehards. <laughs> so it's kind of a fight. Uh, so I bought this from his uh, personal collection. I'm going to wear gloves just because these are vintage Inglehards. Um, beautiful. I can't help it with the Inglehards. So these are Australian. Two ounce, three nines pure, little chiclet Australian bars. I have uh, some Australian friends. Let me know if you guys can get these easily where you're at or if there's big premiums on these. Um, over here, it's, it's definitely harder to get them. It wasn't so much, but now it is. Uh, so I've got two of those. One of these is promised to uh, one of my friends um, in the community. So uh, I'm not going to be holding on to both of these. Um, if he still wants uh, that chick with that is for him. And then I have, these are from before. Whoops. Yeah, I have that the right way. So I have a total of four of these um, in my collection. Soon to be just three, which is which is fine. Uh, I'm just happy to have what I have for uh, for the Ingle Hearts. Um, I'll put these, I'll put, we'll go like this. Nice. So pretty nice silver. Now next, let's see. Oh yeah, I'll save that. I, I just fell something in that bag. I keep forgetting to do a video on a certain thing. I'm gonna leave that certain thing for later. All right, this is what I really blew most of the, the stacking budget on. Um, 
my LCS kept saying they were going to get proof uh, Libertards for forever. And I had already picked some up. Um, it's one of my more popular videos I did on, on the proofs. But I went there today and uh, he had put aside uh, two ounces. And I don't have uh, the two ounce proof. There it is. This is the reverse, as I've as I've learned, and this is the obverse. I still, I still think this is the. Uh, I st I stack them this way as if this is the um, the obverse, but I know it's the reverse. It's kind of backwards, but that's okay. It's a beautiful coin. I mean, any any Libertard. So I grabbed uh, the only two he had. So now I have some uh, two ounce proofs. I'm missing the five ounce proof. So almost a, a whole family with all the rest of the uh, coins they have. And, and I couldn't help picking up a couple more of the one ounces. So there they are. I'm sure you guys have seen plenty of these. Very nice. So, those are my pickups for today, uh, except for my $10 a week challenge. And uh, I've now been doing that for four weeks. So I will show you today's pickup and for $10. Uh, and then I will show you what I got last week. Uh, and that is Silver Spoon. Yeah. Why not? So they sold me this. It, it uh, basically melt, which is fantastic. It's a, it's a neat little spoon. So that's going to go in my $10 a week bag. And then I'll show you what I got last week that I forgot to show everybody. So that will be... And I'm going to take my gloves off for this because I... Don't need them and can't get into this bag. So last week's $10 a week challenge was this half ounce buffalo. Now, uh, silver was less uh, two weeks ago. Spot price was less than it is today. And this was a little over $10, but I had extra money from uh, the two uh, quarter ounce rounds I had. Uh, so here's uh, the week three pickup. And the week four pickup, silver spoon. So all this silver goes into my $10 a week challenge bag. And there it is. The little mini stack. It's already growing uh, quite nicely. So even with just doing this for one month, um, pretty neat. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed looking at all this silver, guys. Uh, uh, tell me what you uh, what you think of my pickups in the comments, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you all for watching.